Hey, so what's going on everybody? I hope you're doing well. Hope you have, a, have been having a wonderful uh, beginning of the year. We are into March and we're expecting great things to happen, right? Everything is, is working well. I'm expecting great things to happen with me. A lot of good things there. So my, dolphin, my daughter and I are working on some stuff with fitness, which is exciting. So what are your goals for this year? I hope you have something that's going on, something big that's planned. You know, you, you have to put it out there. If you don't plan it, you know, it doesn't just tend to happen. You have to kind of make it happen by putting it out there and make a plan. My wife and I have goals that we're planning this year. So you'll find that if you set goals, you accomplish a lot more. So goal setters are naturally achievers. And anyone who's a high achiever always going to be one that sets goals. So make sure you set some goals for this year. So a couple of things I want to talk about today is how to get through plateaus. Uh, I was talking to someone recently. They were kind of stuck. And I'm thinking, now, how do you get through that? I, just, just, I don't have that very often, but I have a routine that kind of gets me going and keeps me out of that rut. But some things I'm going to share with you today is to kind of get you out of that rut if you're stuck in a plateau. How can you break this plateau and some things that you can do to kind of keep you going so you don't get into more plateaus like that. So the first thing that causes a plateau is not getting enough rest. When you're tired, you go to bed tired, you wake up tired, your body's just fatigued, that means you're not getting adequate rest. So over time, your body's going to crash. You're not going to feel like doing very much because you're not getting enough recovery time. So get more sleep. And remember, sleep is about that proper scheduling. I talked about that in a previous video about all the steps to get more quality sleep. So apply some of those uh, principles that I talked about there. Those are some really great tips on how to get great sleep. But make sure that you're getting adequate rest. Plateaus happen when people are just too tired to do anything. You wake up and you're already tired. You haven't even started your day and you're fatigued. So find a way to get the adequate rest because that's going to avoid the plateau. Whenever I've had to work different hours, or my shift would change, or my schedule would change, I notice my workouts struggle. I struggle getting into workouts because when I wake up, my body wants to kind of stay in a little bit longer. And then sometimes if I sleep too late, I'm tired from oversleeping. So it's a matter of finding that right area, but get adequate rest. That's one of the first things. Another one is take progress photos. Nothing makes you excited except seeing progress happens. Whether you're taking measurements or taking photos, taking selfies, something is going to motivate you to see progress. And nothing gets us inspired as, as, as seeing our own progress. Or well, if someone tells you you look great and they, they compliment you on what you're doing and that makes you feel good about yourself, you're ready to work out now because you're now associating this, this positive reinforcement with your workouts. So you're ready to get into better workouts because you want more reinforcements. But I'll do, I used to do week, uh, not weekly, but monthly progress photos. I don't do them much anymore. I probably do them every couple of months. But every month, from the middle of the month, I would do progress photos. Just you know, outside, uh, the same photos starting from the front, from the side, from the back. And, uh, you know, just have those as my check system. Because you're not aware, if you don't take progress photos, you may be going the wrong direction and not know it. You know, sometimes you think you're doing good and you look in the mirror and you, you, know, you look the same because you suck it in when you look in the mirror. But then you forget to suck it in sometimes when you're taking photos and, and the photos reveals everything. So take progress photos. That's going to help you. Switching up your routine is very important. Sometimes you get stuck by doing the same thing. My routine, I should be switching every six weeks. Sometimes it goes a little bit longer, but I tend to switch the routine every six weeks. That means, for instance, if I'm doing on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday now, no, let's see, on Mondays I'll do legs. If Monday I'm doing legs, and then on Tuesday I'm doing currently arms and calves, and then on Wednesday it's chest, back, and shoulders. So I may switch the routine and just switch legs to Wednesday, or I may uh, change the exercise that I do on a particular day, or you know, go from low reps to medium reps or to high reps, but somehow just varying the routine will tend to break the, the, the monotony of, uh, of what you're doing. Another one is go outside, take a week off and start doing things out of doors. Like if you don't do any running or biking or, or you know anything outside, start doing something like that. Start doing some hiking. I mean really spend maybe an hour or an hour and a half out there but really doing some vigorous walking or doing, take some trails or biking or some outdoor activity 
that gets you out of the gym and out of your usual setting. That's very important. Because when you stay in the same setting, you tend to just get used to your surroundings, you get bored with where you are. But just by simply changing your, your setting, working out at a gym or working out with a friend at, at, their, at their location, it will sometimes inspire you and motivate you to get to another level. And back to the thing about a friend, sometimes getting a friend for maybe a week to work out with you. You know, you may have somebody you know that needs to work out. You say, hey, let's, let's work out together this week. You know, I've got a week that I'm going to kind of just kind of change some things up. And then you bring them in, and, and, and because you're now in that position of being kind of like an instructor, it gives you a, a, a sense of entitlement. You can work a little bit more. You feel like you've, you've worked up your, uh, your status a little bit. So try working out with a friend, maybe helping somebody, but that will also boost you and get you working out harder. Because when you're there, the competition effect happens because you want to kind of outdo each other, push you a little bit, and that's, that's important. For me, when I didn't work out for a year, at one point I was, didn't work out for a whole year. And, uh, you know, I, I think I shared it before with you, but I had moved. We moved from one house to another house, and then all the equipment was in the gym, and I didn't get a chance to put it all together yet, because with the equipment was all of the furnishings and stuff that we just have not put into the house. You know, when you move, a lot of times things just go to the garage until you're able to put it in the house where it belongs. The garage just seems to be a great stopping spot. And sometimes it never moves out of the garage. I, I, maybe you like me. Sometimes it just stays in the garage. You know, the place where you stopped it, it just never moves from there. So I, it was about two months that I, my stuff was in the garage. All the, uh, my desk and a lot of things were in the garage. And I didn't work out. And then I gradually moved the stuff inside the house and cleared out all the stuff in the garage because I was going to work out. But I didn't. You know, even though I had the gym set up, I was all excited. I'm going to start on Monday working out. It didn't happen. You know, a month went into six months, which ended up being a year. And the way I got out of that rut is a friend of mine, uh, we were at a, a meeting at church, and he talked about, you know, working out. You know, he said, hey, look like you work out. I'm like, you know, yeah, sure. Because it's been a year. You know, still I look fairly decent, but he thought I worked out. I said, no, it's been a while. And he had also had the same issue. He was stuck. He says, you know, I, he was talking about how he used to work out, and we had a lot of similarities in our training routines, we knew a lot of the people from the past that we worked out in, you know, many years gone by. So we decided we we're going to start working out a, a bit. And we set a date, started working out. I worked out with him for a whole year straight. And then something changed with his schedule, but I was back on track. I mean, it didn't take me a year to get back on track. I think after maybe a, a couple of weeks, I was back in the routine of doing things. But I had accountability. He was there, and that's what helped push me to that level where I needed to be. So a, a good workout partner will help you go to that next level. Uh, talk about doing something outside. Change your workout time. So if you're working out in the morning, you may try working out in the evening. You may find out sometimes just work out in the evening, you, you, you feel better. It allows you to sleep better if you work out in the evenings. And I know that is true. Whenever I work out in the evenings, I always sleep better. I don't know because I'm just finishing a workout and your body just kind of calming down, you're kind of reducing stress. I always sleep better if I work out in the evenings. But mornings are more convenient for me. Because when I get up in the morning, I've got a lot of things on my plate during the day. And sometimes by the end of the day, I'm kind of mentally drained and I don't feel like working out. But I think if I did switch it over, I'd get back used to the routine. It, you know, it's, it's working out in the morning, work out in the evening. Your body adapts to whatever time that you work out. Another thing that gets me, get me out of a rut is watching videos of people working out, workout videos, or whatever, whatever gets you in the mode of working out. Uh, there's a movie, Pumping Iron, that, that, that came out uh, 100 years ago, back when Arnold Schwarzenegger was, you know, back in the 70s. And then there's other, other people I watch working out, uh, people that are closer to my age. I'll see them on YouTube and people working out, and they get me, they get me going. And there's this one lady named Vivi Winkler, Vivian Winkler. She's uh, from Brazil, I think. Uh, and, and she works out. I was watching her workout routine, and she works out with her trainer. And every workout brings her to tears. I mean, she works out so hard to where she, she, she's literally just in tears, pushing, you know, just pushing to the last, to the last moment. And her trainer's there, you know, making her do those extra reps, and she's over there, and, she, and it's almost, she, oh, it was like, man, that's intense. Now, I don't, I've not worked out to tears yet, and I don't think I plan to, but to see how hard she was working out, and she looks fantastic too, Vivian Winkler. She looks fantastic. 
But it just motivates me to see if she can work out that hard, get up, get my lazy butt up and do something, you know. So I'll get up and start working out after watching her. But again, just watching something on some video of someone working out and that motivates you. So you should already have those in your repertoire. Those things that you watch to motivate you to do different things. So find out if, if workout videos or some, someone you watch during workouts will help get you going. So that will be another good thing that happens there. Uh, talk about training with a training partner. Uh, progress photos. Your workout routine. Taking a week off. Good. And doing something outside. So that was kind of like it. But everyone gets into a rut. We all do. I mean, we, you get into the to, to point where you're just doing the same thing over and over, and progress seems to slow, and then you just feel like, ah, I just want to take a week off. I, I don't take any time off anymore. I used to feel like, I don't take a week off, not anymore, because I found out a week turns into, uh, you know, longer, and then before you know it, you're kind of trying to get momentum again. It's really difficult. It's like if you ever went out, and started running and then you stop and walk for a while and you want to run again, it's hard. You might as well just walk home. At least for me it is. Once I stop, it's kind of hard to get motivated to kind of get going again. But those are some things I want, I want to talk to you about. You know, avoiding the plateaus because we all tend to have them. But finding ways to motivate yourself to stay on track and just keep going consistently. My biggest motivation is you guys. That, that is it. I know that if I'm working out, I'm also motivating and inspiring someone else. Because when you watch me, I'm, I'm not just talking the talk. I'm walking the walk. I mean, this morning, I was in there pushing. And it was, kind of a, it was kind of a struggle this morning. The day was a little bit difficult. I'm not sure what it was. I, I woke up this morning, and I, could have that, I feel like I had that mind fog. You know where you just can't quite get your thoughts together? So I was kind of like getting up and, I'm, you know, kind of go through the routine. My body felt a little bit stiff. So I'm downstairs, I'm drinking water, kind of like before I work out. And when I was doing my warm-ups, you know, I'm like, come on, let's go, let's move. You know, and, and I, could see my, I could see it was like there was resistance there. And that's when I knew I had to just kick, my, kick myself into gear. You know, I'm, I'm speaking to the Holy Spirit. Say, okay, come on, come on, Holy Spirit, work with me, you know, push me through this. Because that's what I rely on when I get stuck. You need a helper. And we have a helper. So I just say, hey, get me through this. And, and it did. I mean, and I had... It turned out to be one of my best workouts. I changed a few things, a little bit, just a little bit of things on the routine today, but it's still, I worked out hard, and it turned out to be a really good workout. So I was proud that I was able to push through that little, that little struggle there. And when you do push through like that, you gain a day. You go another, you're, you're another notch up. When you push through those sticking points, you're another notch. When you're at that point where, you, where you're stuck, you're at that point of breakthrough where you can go to another level. Sometimes another plateau happens. I mean, another um, level happens. A breakthrough happens in your workout if you can just get through that plateau. It's like that sticking point. Get through that, and suddenly you're on to another whole point of progress. But if you don't, if you drop below that, sometimes you're stuck and you start making, you start regressing. So I think those little points there, a plateau. Those are kind of like those. Uh, uh, thresholds where you need to get past them before you can make further progress. So push past those thresholds, you know, and, and let me know how you're doing. I haven't heard from anybody lately, but if you're there, out there, then just respond to this video. Just say, hey, I'm still working at it. I'm still doing it. Uh, give me some kind of feedback. Let me know that you're watching. And if there's something that you want to hear me cover, let me know. I'm, I'll cover it. In a couple of days, I'm going to get back on the treadmill. I'm going to show you some things you can do on the treadmill with weights. Because, you know, when you're on the treadmill, your upper body is pretty much dormant. You're not really doing very much. It's just arm swing. But you've got an opportunity to do some upper body work, some arm work, some shoulder work, some chest work while you're on the treadmill. So I'm going to show you how to do that next time. All right, guys. Make today awesome. I hope that uh, you have a wonderful rest of your day. And get plenty of rest, and I'll see you on Thursday. Bye-bye.